hey beauties welcome back to my channel happy new year happy new year to all my new subscribers happy new year to all my old subscribers i wish you nothing but the best for the new year oh and if you don't know my name <laughs> my name is Reta. if you are new to my channel and you are seeing my face for the first time i hope that you're good wherever you are thank you so much for tuning in once again so i woke up today and i was like it's time it's time it's 2022 okay it's time to give my girls some content i know you guys missed some new content from me so i was like let me sit down and film and share with you guys how i achieve a sweat proof makeup look for work for varsity for school and i am going to be reviewing the maybelline active wear 30 hour foundation i am also going to be reviewing the instant anti eraser concealer this is the combo that i used to achieve my sweat proof everyday makeup look i did do a very detailed tutorial step by step from my brows to primer to setting to the foundation routine so you definitely want to stay tuned this makeup routine is perfect for work for school and it can be achieved in 30 to 45 minutes if you do want that beat beat look for work or maybe you just have a special occasion at work and you don't want to look too much but you just want to look classy you want to look chic you want to look a beat this is definitely at the makeup look for you please don't forget to like don't forget to leave me a beautiful comment in the comment section please do share my content and most importantly smash that subscribe button girl let's jump straight right into this sweat proof summer everyday makeup routine I know that it's been a minute you guys and I am honestly so so sorry I can explain myself girl but before we get into that I just want to say happy happy new year to all of my subscribers happy new year and welcome to all my new subscribers as well I do know that the last video that I posted was the she in haul and that was literally before Christmas so your girl's a little embarrassed with the inconsistency okay but I can explain myself basically what happened was after the she in haul um i think i recorded like two other videos that i ended up not posting because i i didn't like them and then i had some other content planned as well um, with my friends and stuff because i went home um i went home to bloom so i had content plan planned with my friends and that didn't happen because we were decembering guys i came back home like last week the first week of jan and I was feeling so uninspired. I'm so sorry that you guys can hear the cars outside. I'm filming by the window, so there isn't really much that I can do about the cars outside. But anyways, I'm still going to be doing makeup. I'm still going to be doing story times, fashion hauls. Um, I do want to do more fashion content, styling content. If you have any other ideas of content that you would like me to do, please do comment down below. Just keep it in like the beauty, fashion you know lifestyle type of content i am also thinking about doing some cooking content as well on my channel yes girl your girl can cook okay someone just mentioned to me that like you're a really good cook and you should do you know incorporate it into your youtube yeah and my voice it sounds weird because i have flu so i just wanted to let you guys in a little bit on my life you know it's a new year and let you guys know um where i've been so so that you guys don't think i've just neglected my channel but i'm back i'm feeling good besides the fact that um i'm feeling good besides the fact that i've got the flu girl i don't know where i caught it but yeah so i am going to give you guys or rather try and give you guys consistent content so you definitely want to subscribe you want to like and you want to leave your beautiful comment for your girl in the comment section but anyway since while we're in summer i decided that i wanted to share with you guys um, my updated sweat proof makeup routine i wanted to do a review on maybelline superstay active wear 30 hour foundation i'm also going to be 
doing a review on the instant anti-eraser concealer from Maybelline so today it is a Maybelline day and then I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve a suede proof makeup look and this is also just an everyday makeup look that you can wear to work that you can wear to school I'm going to be taking it step by step every detail from the brows as you guys can see I haven't done my brows today girl so from my brows to primers everything don't forget to like comment and most importantly hit that subscribe button girl um so the first thing that I I am going to do is I'm going to be using my Catrice Hydrating Prime and Care Spray. This says that it refreshes the skin. It has aloe vera, matcha tea, panthenol, um, and it says Hydrating Primer and Care Spray enriched with aloe vera, matcha tea, panthenol, which is known for its skin calming properties, can be used before makeup application to prime the skin or after makeup removal to refresh and care. So this is a primer but it's also a care spray so i think if you have a, an issue with dry skin this is perfect as well for after care once you take your makeup off i actually haven't used it for after care i recently got it so this is also a first impressions uh before for my primer i was using the makeup revolution hydrate and prime primer so i wanted to try something new so i am going to be trying this this is also a first impressions for me so let's give it to try it smells really like <laughs> i don't know why i'm saying the smell because i can't i can hardly smell my nose is so blocked <laughs> but as you guys can see my skin is glowing already so for me personally even though we want to achieve a matte look a sweat proof look i like to combine hydration and mattifying products as well so i'll use a hydrating primer and then i'll use a mattifying setting spray you know so that my base is hydrated so i'm just waiting for this to just dry down i love this it does feel it doesn't feel as sticky as I, I would like it to but i like how glowy my skin is right now you guys i actually found my clipping thing so that we can get all of this hair out of the way i really like to start with my eyebrows so my everyday routine just focuses more on skin we just do eyebrows and we do skin okay and then to laminate my brows i am going to be using this um lash grip from our you can use a soap as well and you can use got to be glue and then i'm just going to brush them up like that using the glue make sure that all your hair strokes are covered in the glue i'm gonna go in with my mac eyeshadow this one is in the shade swiss chocolate this is what it looks like and just put some hair strokes i'm gonna go back in with my spoolie again and just basically blend together that eyeshadow and my natural brow hairs. Next, I'm gonna take my um, LA Girl Pro Conceal. This one is in the shade Medium Beige. We have already primed our face, so next I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Uh, this is the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear 30 Hour Foundation, and I am in the shade 60 Caramel. Up to 30 hour wear, full coverage foundation, light as air feel, transfer resistance, seamless matte finish, and oil free. So, this is perfect for our sweat proof makeup because it is oil free, meaning that it 
does mattify is perfect foundation for the summertime or if you just have some oily skin try it out and because it is a matte foundation when i am applying it um i'm just looking here because i'm looking at my mirror when i am applying it i just start applying it and blending out in sections because it is matte it dries down really quickly so you don't want to have to deal with having any difficulties blending out foundations in the morning you know before you go to work or before you go to varsity what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to blend this out using my dense brush i'm literally just tapping that foundation right into my skin and that's how you get the best application for your foundation. See this color that I've chosen, it has a yellow undertone. So it is currently coming off really, really yellow, but it will oxidize and it will definitely tone down on the yellow. Um, you guys will see in as the makeup goes on that it won't look as yellow anymore um this foundation i wouldn't say it's full coverage because if i do come in closer you guys can see you can still see my freckles so it is more of like a build-up foundation if you do want the full coverage but it has covered everything covered some of my acne scars um, that were on my forehead it has covered my freckles really really well as you can see here you can see some of those really really dark 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 freckles but for me personally because currently i do have acne prone skin but i don't know my skin has been behaving i don't know what's going on um so i don't really like because my skin has been behaving and i'm I don't have a lot of marks and acne scars i do like a light coverage like this where you can still kind of see my freckles and my beauty marks so i really really like that so if you do want a full coverage look it is more of a build up type of foundation as you can see um it has a seamless matte look a light matte look and that's because we started with a, hyd a hydrating primer if we did go in with a mattifying primer it would look a lot more matte so this is the look that we're going for and that's why i love this active wear foundation it's just it feels good also on my skin it doesn't feel heavy it really really feels lightweight like i don't even feel it i don't even feel like i'm wearing foundation right now so i really really like it it's my perfect perfect shade perfect undertone so next i'm gonna go in with my instant anti-eraser concealer from maybelline as well um and this is what it looks like um it has the sponge which i use as an applicator but i don't use to blend it out this concealer it's not mattifying which i like because for someone like me with dry skin even though in summer it gets hot and i sweat um my under eyes are really not a place that i want to be dry at all never so i like this because it's not dry um it is so nice and thick oh and then i'm in the shade buff So I'm just going to place that on the highest point of my face quickly. And because this is more of like an everyday makeup look, I'm not going to be doing too much with the concealer. Just a little bit like that. And some here. To all the point where the light hits you. I really like this concealer because the consistency is really, really, really thick. Um, that is perfect for under eyes because then when the consistency is thick it does not crease as much it has amazing amazing coverage it's honestly by far my favorite drugstore concealer there's no other concealer that's as good as this so i'm just going to give this a bit of time to dry if you're in a hurry and if you're in a rush in the morning this is the perfect time to like make yourself breakfast make yourself coffee i don't know get your outfit together do some ironing while you wait for your concealer to get tacky okay and then once the concealer is tacky i'm just going to blend it out
girl do you see this coverage and the blend of this concealer into this foundation this is the combo from how girl we're giving them how with this combo okay and that's on god we're giving them how with this combo okay on this side working a little faster because we don't have much time I'm just look, going to take my foundation brush and just go around it so that there aren't any lines of demarcation between the concealer and our foundation. Everything is blended into each other. And then I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. Also just like to set my eyebrows while I'm at it so that they don't get oily during the day just going to take my beauty blender and I am going to go over the top of my nose the top of my nose or the bridge of my nose just like that I'm gonna take my fit me um, Maybelline Matte Poreless Powder. This is what it looks like. And this one is in the shade 350 Caramel. And I'm just going to take this flat brush and I'm just going to set the rest of my face. gonna go into my contour and I'm using the Essence Mattifying Compact Powder and this one is in the shade True Mahogany. Um, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution to bronze my face. Uh, this is the Reloaded Velvet Rose Palette. I'm going to use this shade right here to bronze. If you are a little bit deeper than I am, if your skin tone is deeper than mine, um, you can mix these two. And then if you are like quite deep, then you can mix these two or just use this one or just use this one. But I only use this one. So these are these colors are perfect. As you can see, they have a bit of like a warm, they have a warm undertone. And this is great for bronzing. So I'm going to use this one right here to bronze. Bronze, bronze, bronze. You can also bronze your forehead as well if you do feel like it is a little bit big. Or if you just want, like, you know, the whole summery type of like sun kissed vibe. I'm gonna go into a blush and I'm gonna use this palette, this colors palette from blush, and I'm just going to mix this shade and this peachy shade. we're basically almost done with our face we just have to highlight and i am going to be using my mac highlighter i didn't bring a brush to highlight and i'm just highlighting the same points that i used my um concealer on just a little bit because it's summer just like this right here um for my eyes just to give my eyes some depth we're not gonna do much uh just to give them some depth i'm just gonna go in with i'm just gonna go in with the small brush and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mix my contour um as well as my blush shade and i'm just gonna put that into 
my crease so i'm just mixing those two i didn't even put on like concealer or anything on my eyes you guys see the difference this has more depth this is giving us nothing to set my face for our sweat proof makeup routine i am going to use this fix and last 18 hour makeup fixing spray from essence um, i picked this up the other day usually i use i think this is a new formula that they have that they just introduced so i definitely wanted to try it and see how it will hold up so this says that it's instant matte effect it's waterproof and then it's free from oil and alcohol make your makeup last up to 18 hours with this alcohol and oil free makeup fixing spray suitable for all skin types cucumber extract refreshing your skin and after quickly drying the texture leaves you with a weightless feeling and mattifies your skin for a natural looking finish and it says that it's waterproof okay so this is the setting spray that i am going to use okay beauty so i went ahead and put on my eyelashes um they're still drying um, but they don't look so bad and I'm just gonna finish off my under eyes with some mascara my makeup looks so good for the day oh my gosh it looks really really good did my hair this is how it looks so it's giving um, Rihanna umbrella you know <laughs> I struggled with the curl though on this side, so it's not perfect, but it doesn't look bad either. So you can use whatever lipstick, lip color that you want to use. I just went with ju this Juicy Balm from Essence because I don't really want to do anything with my lips, so I just put on some gloss, girl. And this is the final makeup look. The foundation really, really came out looking good. You guys can see I look matte, but I definitely don't look dry, girl. We have come to the end of the makeup video, the makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please comment down below and let me know what is your current favorite foundation. Do you have a sweet proof makeup routine that works for you? If it does work for you, comment down below tell me about it so that i can try i am always always open to learning um, my makeup routine is always changing because i'm always open to learning new tips and tricks but girl this face is giving okay it's giving it's giving it looks effortless it looks seamless it looks matte it looks summer friendly sweat friendly and i absolutely absolutely love it i hope that you enjoyed this video i'm so sorry about my voice once again <laughs> but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like don't forget to leave me a beautiful comment in the comment section and most importantly smash that subscribe button girl my name is Kata, and i'm out